Hi, everybody. So since 2007, 2008, our client city had a brand perception problem. Financial crisis, we, we were looked at in very poor light. So um, it was a big deal for us, especially in New York. So we needed something kind of huge to turn everything around. And for us, it was City Bike. Um, last May, we put 6,000 bikes in New York City. Um, 6,000 moving billboards that we wanted people to get on and really just ride around town. Um, definitely wasn't easy getting there. A lot of people resisted it at first. All they saw was a lot of branding that was going to be in front of their buildings and, you know, on their, their hometown. So um, we, we had to really push this. We really had to uh, make sure that they knew it was not about the bank. It was about the bikes themselves. Around town, we had 300 kiosks where these bikes would live. Um, in each of those kiosks, we had a great out-of-home opportunity. Uh, but we didn't just put uh, product advertising. We weren't going to try to sell credit cards at launch. We wanted to make sure that everyone knew that it was, uh, this was for them and, and what could they do with it? What could their experiences be? So we, we took a look at those neighborhoods and re we really tried to bring them to life, bring those personalities to life. So here are just a few. Uh, I think we ended up with about 60 individual out-of-home placements. Uh, units that we did, very you know, custom, hyper-local. The key to getting everyone to, to get on those bikes and ride was going to be a mobile app. They needed to find out if there was a bike available near them, if there was a spot available when they landed at their destination. So uh, we made sure that that was a, a big part of it. We wanted to make sure that it was really easy to use and that it would truly unlock a bike and unlock New York. So it had to be both experience and functionality. Visually, you see our droplet. This is, the, this is the icon for every station, and it's going to let you know at a glance in real time whether or not there's a bike or a dock available. It shows you uh, the volume of bikes versus, versus uh, spaces available. You tap on one, you get the bikes, you get the details, you can share it, you can favorite it, you can get directions to here, there, anywhere in the city you need. We partnered with the New York Times because we wanted to make sure that the experience was part of it. So anywhere you're riding, you could find a coffee shop, a restaurant. We also found um, that you know, we wanted to make sure safety was a, a big, uh, you know, everyone was riding safely. So w there were helmet retailers we put in here to keep everyone under the 45-minute time limit so they don't get charged overages. We put a timer. It was critical that the experience for everyone was fantastic. And uh, you know, a late fee would, would work against that goal. So we put in riding uh, rules. We put in safety tips. We wanted to make sure that the experience was, was you know, first and foremost. Thank you, everybody.